Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I am still doing my 31 days of horror movie reviews. And this one was a little bit of a random movie. Honestly, I was sort of disappointed by some of the most recent horror films from this year, and just I wanted to see something good. And I took a gamble, I went on to Netflix perused around and said what horror movie looks interesting that I haven't seen before and I came across this movie called Creep. Creep is a 2014 film that is directed by Patrick Bryce and it's a found footage movie which at first had me worried like uh oh maybe I didn't pick the greatest one because I remember when there was just so many found footage movies just in a span of five years there was like five per year, it felt like. But now we're so removed from it that I I was okay with watching it. The movie is we follow this person who got hired off of somebody who who apparently his name is Joseph. And he's played by Mark Duplass. And Joseph, he claims that he has a brain tumor and doesn't have much longer to live so he wants to record some videos of him doing some daily stuff and just talking to his future son he says he has a wife and and so okay fine simple enough easy enough except for this cameraman finds out that mark duplass is very weird and very awkward at first it's 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 harmless and you think okay he's just doesn't really communicate well and just has a weird sense of humor and then eventually you realize, all right, this guy's a little violent and a little scary and should not be anywhere near. Now, what I thought of Creep was, I ended up really enjoying this film. I did. It's funny where I've been so sick of current horror movies with their a thousand jump scares and, and the overall use of stuff like CGI or just stuff that looks fake or horrible acting. All of these things have almost ruined the horror genre. But watching this movie, the simplicity is something that I appreciated. Just all you had to do. I can't imagine this budget costs a whole lot. It was probably one of the smallest budgets ever. Of course, it's produced by Blumhouse. But... It's, it's simply this guy with a camera. And, and, and it made me laugh when I looked up uh, on Wikipedia this movie and saw that, well, the cameraman, like the main character, uh, is also played by Patrick Bryce, who is listed as a, the director. And I thought, well, of course he would be the director. He's holding the camera in the story. And so naturally he would be holding the camera behind the scenes as well. So that... I thought was interesting but in the fact that Patrick Bryce and Mark Duplass together wrote this film so it it literally is two people who come together have this simple story and make a movie probably on a weekend so simple so easy but yet so effective Mark Duplass is great as this guy who like I said he tells the story about the tumor and about what he wants his future son to see and know of him and you feel for the guy you go yeah I I understand everything that he's doing he talks about his wife and just various things that over time some of the jokes that he has some of the way that he talks to the camera guy it's just it's it's off something is off he wants to bring them out into the woods and, and just walk aimlessly, not really knowing where they are, luring him. Eventually, the camera guy's keys, car keys go missing, and it's obvious that he took them, but you can't prove it either. So it's just, it's very strange. Very strange. Then there comes a point where Mark Duplass has this wolf mask, and it's, it's like he has split personality because as weird as he could come off in those moments... You don't really think he's going to go that level of, hey, I'm going to kill you. At least you'd like to think not. And then he puts the mask on and you don't even, he doesn't even talk. He, he lunges after him. And I'm not going to go too far into what happens here. But I will say it does not go, like it does take some twists and turns. It does do some things that make me go, oh, I, I assumed it was going to go one way. And then it kept going. And something else happened. And, and. I appreciated that. I also appreciated 
uh, the the use of the camera again found footage can be lazy and can be annoying but it it told the story it, it had a purpose and and it, the movie's only like an hour and 15 minutes long it's so short so it's, it's a very easy watch if you have Netflix I would definitely recommend you check out creep so guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think of Creep. Do you like it as much as I do? Did you find it creepy? Do you like just bare bones, simple? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. Oh, what a rush, sniffing some more blow Let the bitch blow